how y'all are interesting video today uh first of all uh if you're new to the channel rebecca and i are full-time rvers and we work camp well i'm not sure if you saw my la last video but we're at a 350 site campground and the place is so huge you can't even see from one end to the other and we were in this great spot all the way to the other side away from everybody else and then today guess what right there right there i mean look at this y'all this place is freaking huge but they have to be right here by us i know i'm being petty but i kind of liked it where i just let the dogs run loose and all that but that being said, today we are going to be doing another beef jerky video. Um, every time I've made beef jerky, I would hand it out to my friends, I would take it to work, and it was just phenomenal. I gotta say, it was just really good stuff. And uh, to the point that people would even offer to buy it from me. But... Um, I've got this recipe I'm using, and I call it rig hand jerky. And it's not my recipe, but I tweaked it a little bit. I found it a couple years ago and tweaked it a little bit. And I'm going to do a side-by-side -side comparison. Uh, we just did the other one, the other batch, and I used liquid smoke and uh, did it in the oven. And I want to do a comparison to doing the same recipe with no liquid smoke and doing it on the pellet grill. My only concern is it it's having to be on there, you know, up to five hours. I'm just hoping it's not going to be too smoky flavor. So that's what we're about to do. Uh, I'll leave the recipe in the description. Hope you enjoy the video. All right, here we go. I'm not going to bore y'all with the mixing part of it. Simple ingredients. Uh, I'm leaving the salt out of this recipe because it didn't dawn on me that meat tenderizer is salt itself so but got her all in there we'll mix it up cut our meat Boom. all right y'all always get a lean cut i got this on sale this is a round rump roast uh it's only two it was 7.99 a pound i got it with which i don't know what that is i, I got a discount on it came out to 13.75 I'm going to put it in the, uh, the freezer for a bit. Just get it home from the store at least a couple hours. You want it nice and firm like that. And always cut against the grain. So your grain's going that way. We're going to cut it like this. I want to at least... Uh, I think what I'm going to do here is I prefer to square this up first. And then... I'm going to have to cut these pretty thin. So I think what I'm going to do is split this in half to make the cutting a little bit easier. Hopefully I can get it fairly even. Of course you don't want to cut off any excess fat like that right there. But uh, And just like I said, slice against the grain. Um, it's going to take, usually takes me a couple tries to see if I got the right uh, thickness of it. Um, that's not too bad. Oh, nice hair there. That's not too bad. Uh, I'm going to play around a little bit. Um, I'm going to go a little bit thicker than that. I'm going to play around a little bit, and you'll see the final product when we get done. Okay. So, all right, y'all, this is day two. We marinated this in a Ziploc overnight. I just threw them in here for ease of getting it in and out of the bag. Um, let them sit out, kind of get to room temperature. I sliced them a little bit thinner than I normally would because I've never used a pellet grill and I'm hoping they kind of get done. That's kind of thick. I'm hoping they get done in like two hours would be ideal. So uh, I'm just gonna lay these out and lightly pat them dry. Uh, all right, 
This is not the whole two pounder. This is half of it. I've got another half. I'm going to do a different recipe with. So this is about one pound here. Uh, I forgot to mention these grill mats. I love these grill mats. I don't even know what brand it is. I just know I got them off Amazon. Real reasonable. Uh, we're just going to lightly pat it dry. We got the uh, Green Mountain grill cranking up. Uh, and we'll take them on out there. Okie doke, y'all. We got about 175 on the Green Mountain Grill. And uh, we're going to come back and check it in an hour, possibly flip them then. So I'm hoping I can get these done in about two hours. But we'll see. We'll check back. Y'all, we are about an hour in. I cranked it up just about five minutes ago to 180. We at 180. I'm going to go ahead and flip these over. I'm going to go another hour. It's going to be uh, hard to tell. It's pretty spongy. Um, some of them are a little bit drier, of course, than others. So We'll come back in an hour. We'll check it out. All right, y'all, we're at the two-hour mark. Checking these. Some are a little bit thinner than others, like this one here. That's going to come off a little bit spongy on that. Um... I'm going to go through here and check them, pull the thinner ones off, and uh, we'll uh, see what it looks like when we get done. I'll let you know the final time it took. Howdy, y'all. It's day number two. I got late recording that uh, beef jerky on the pellet grill last night, so I didn't finish recording. But uh I'll tell you what we got going on today. If this thing will flip around properly this time. Here we go. We've got another batch going on there. Doesn't it look wonderful? Um, this is actually a teriyaki recipe Nick wanted me to try. But today we got something a little different. Y'all remember right, we did some in the oven with liquid smoke. One of these bags is that. Okay. And the other one, let's set this here. The other one is on the smoker. So... I'm going to take it out real quick, let y'all look at it. Nick, you hold this camera? Or oh, never mind. I think I can get it here. Let y'all look at it real quick here. Nick's going to do a taste test. Tell me which one he likes better. Um, like I said, one of these was in the oven. And one was in the smoker. I don't know if you can tell the difference. I don't think you can. There's one there. There's another one here. You really can't tell much of a difference, can you? All righty, Nick. Come on. Oh, you can sit there. I'll bring it to you. Okay, here's A. Sit down. Here's A. You, you don't tell me which is which till after you have both of them. Just go and eat the whole thing. You need a water for to rinse your mouth out. Let me go get one. So he just did A. This is the B one. Like I said, you're going to tell me which one you think is which, and on top of that, which one you like best. Remember, one. This one is liquid smoke. That one, you think that one's liquid smoke? Yeah. Okay, that's the B. And the other one you thought you tried was in the smoker? No, I. Okay, the first one was A. That was the first one you tried. Okay. Okay. All right. I'm not going to tell you yet. You got to finish that. Let me know which one you like better. A. You like A better? Yes, it's not really like that. Well, y'all, he surprised me because that's actually out of the pellet smoker. I think you're right. Yeah, you got it wrong. That's not liquid smoke. Liquid smoke was the one that was A that was in the uh, in the oven. So you like the oven better? Is that correct? A. First one was A. It's kind of hard. I know they're pretty close, but... One of them, the A, has liquid smoke in it. I've never been a fan of liquid smoke. The other one was in the pellet smoker for uh, roughly two hours. The one you just had was in the pellet smoker, like I'm doing now. But you like the oh, oven. Shoot. I don't know. You gonna try again? B tastes bad. B tastes bad. Okay, well, he doesn't like that one. And that's surprising because he said, A, he said this one was... Uh, the other day was too salty. You said this one was too salty. Try it one more time. 
Here's A. Just take a little bite. So B was in the pelts. The pelts were called A was in the pelts. Yeah, it's kind of hard because I know they're kind of close to me. I like the I like the D. I don't feel it smoker, honestly. Yeah, this is pretty better. Is it because it's uh, a little more tender? The taste. That's weird, Nick, because is it a smoke flavoring you like better or don't like better or what? Well, I don't know, y'all. I, I, I prefer B. He prefers A. So, y'all love... Uh, See, he don't know. B, B to me is the smoker. I love the smoker flavor. And Jay's more like natural beef jerky. Yeah, natural beef jerky. So, I'll... Uh, here. Look at that. I'm surprised about me. And here... um. I'm going to do this for just two hours. I think I'm getting hotter over on this side here. I am. Uh, I might be pulling these off quicker. But I'd say on this pellet smoker, 180 for two hours for these, y'all. That's what I've come to find out. Pretty good. All righty. Well, I'm going to turn this around again. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. We're still in Farmington. Be leaving about three, four days. And uh, I'll put all the recipes in the description. And also put a link to the original, um, the original beef jerky when I started doing it. So, hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. We'll catch you next time. Bye.